Maroon 5 coming right up. Why would you ruin this exhaust note with Maroon 5? <laughs> that was my nickname growing up. Crash. Was it really? Yep. No, shut up. I was too close to the car in front of me. It was a school bus full of happy children. He's getting searched. He looks so suspicious. And I'll be back tomorrow. This is exciting, right? Is that don't sniff my banana? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get out of here. Wait, that was the most confusing door. It's pretty sweet. Knew it. He's getting searched. He always has a hard time getting through security for some reason. He looks so suspicious. I have an idea. I'll go on this treadmill and you can go and try and keep up with me. There's probably signs. The world's busiest airport. For any of you trying to travel through the Atlanta airport, it's massive. Well, this is cool. Found it! Right, sure. They seriously have to be better at labeling these things in signs. It's crazy, isn't it? E, Audi Atlanta. Alfa Romeo is right next door. That's gorgeous. Okay, so this Audi dealer is legit. Check this out. The Quattro Cafe. What? Oh, that. What do I have to do to get on this? You can pull like a total skateboarding trick off this. Gonna be a fun drive back. Gotta be organized. Oh, geez, oh, Dad, these seats are comfy. Freaking Still smells pretty new in here. I'm gonna start her up. Hey. Listen to that. You got, you got really nice, you know, carbon fiber everywhere. I love. Oh my gosh, I love this. The white. Yeah, Apple CarPlay. So that's gonna be fun. Just plug up. You know, you got your little cord. That's just your e-brake. E-brake. Okay. You should give it a little rev. Ready? Yeah. Hey, get get some power. Since we're about to enter South Carolina, I'm gonna ask my dad what his craziest memory from South Carolina was. On a motorcycle with my friend, coming back from Florida, had no money left. I was on vapors with gas, and I was speeding a little bit, not too much, and got pulled over by a statey. Back then, they take you right to the station if you're speeding. He put us in jail, and he said, you gotta pay so much for your speeding ticket, and I said, I don't have any money. And he noticed the watch I was wearing, and he said, oh, that's a nice watch. I said, well, will this get me out of jail? And he said, yeah, sure, give me a watch and you can leave. And that's what happened. So there you have it, South Carolina, coming up. So we just got the TPMS sensor light that just came on. We're just gonna check the tires for pressure. Sweet Jesus, that color is beautiful. Oh, Jangles. The best chicken and biscuits money can buy. I actually prefer Popeyes. Shoot me. Start her up. 
the TPMS sensor ended up being just a slight overinflation on the front tires. The front's supposed to be 46, the rear's supposed to be 48, the front were 50. And then we recalibrated the system and set it to what is normal. Eventually, we're gonna have to check the spare tire too. Whoa, is that a Ferrari? South Carolina. Make sure you don't get pulled over. Do you have your watch on? You got a watch to train? I have a watch. I could sell my body. It's not worth that much. No. <laughs> now that is style. The beard. Look at the beard. <laughs> BMW manufacturing plant in South Carolina. There was a visitor center. Look at that. Wow, that's massive. If we had time, I'd want to go, but. No time. No visitor center. Yeah, go for it. The highways in Massachusetts, I feel like, are a, a little better, but the side roads are much worse. The giant beach. Just, it feels like you're going so much slower than you actually okay. are. Shoom. A4. This car is equipped with air suspension, so it's riding a little stiffer right now because uh, we're in dynamic mode. It also increases the throttle response, uh, opens the, the exhaust valves to give a little throw to your sound. It's not a huge difference, but car comfort mode or we can just do auto for now what do we got going on dad we have active lane assist and adaptive cruise control it means the camera which is located up here is detecting both lines that you're in between oh <laughs> it took over <laughs> and it kind of fits our massive Bojangles sweet tea cups here. You know, in Germany, they don't really have drinks this big. Look at the steering wheel's moving for you. Look at <laughs> Dad's first time with lane assist. I drove I drove it once in the, in the Model 3 in Charlotte before, and it was a very, very strange feeling being able to take your hands off the wheel for a moment. And it's keeping you right in the middle. It's gonna ask you to keep your hands on the wheel. Yep. <laughs> you touch it. Just apply a little pressure. So I actually, in the Tesla, I did it, I kept my hands off for so long that it said, you know, you're in trouble and we're turning it off for the rest of the drive. <laughs> Literally, it said, you're we're not Bad letting, driver. Bad yeah. driver. This one, you can't do that. You'll crash into a wall. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> Hadn't been grabbing the wheel. The lane assist isn't quite like Tesla's. This feels kind of like a... Uh, you're a bowling ball and, and the bumpers are, are up on uh, the bowling alley. So you kind of wander a little bit, hit that boundary, wander a little bit. GT. 50. G28. Okay, so we're gonna stop in Charlotte to visit my sister. We get road weary anyhow. Yeah, we are. Well, that is, I just have to pee. I guess it's road weariness. And then it's this guy's turn to drive. How does the engine sound, Dad? Burns like a kitten. So we're fine. So so like serious. Nine. I'm just gonna pop in, do a quick hello, and then go out to eat. Look at that. What? And yeah, look at that. Can you see us? Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen you since Thanksgiving, buddy. Look at this stuff. Full of paint colors. Oh, hey, buddy. Everyone shipped in that form for Christmas. Sweet! We gonna be playing this. Oh yeah. Yeah, so start actually for pillow, but... Oh, well we make up for it with. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, we had that up until like yesterday. <laughs> Loki. Hey Google, turn all lights to blue. <gasps> Son of a gun! That's the coolest yeah, thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it matches your Audi! Coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. That hey. car looks beautiful. Where is oh it? my awesome. god, it's, a, it's next to yours. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. check it. Look at that interior. What a lovely time. Yeah. Hey, what do you think, man? <laughs> this is sweet. Right, hey buddy. Girl, what do you think? How's it look? Yeah, amazing. Hey. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh. Like the best lumbar support I've ever had for yeah. like a, a, a being in a car. The yeah, camera's like, still is the on. Yeah, the camera's supposed to be on. Like that's tripping me out. Dad, how do you contain this much muscle? Like, how do you not just? He asks himself that every day. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's us. That one was us. I've never been in a car that sounds like that. 
Tim, what do you think so far? It's amazing. Super smooth. It felt like we were going slow. I looked down and we got like 56. I was like, <laughs> Mom's gonna Play love Maroon to hear 5. That. Maroon 5 coming right up. Why would you ruin this exhaust note with Maroon 5? <laughs> <laughs> All right. First time driving an Audi. Just make sure I'm good to All go. All right, Matt's feeling it. I can see it in his eyes. He wants to go outrun some police. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ain't doing that tonight. See All right. you guys. See you guys. Bye guys. See you later. Love, you. Love, Love you. you. You want this still on? Um. No, you can shut it off for now. A first fill up. Thirsty girl. <sighs> Listen to that Duramax whistle. Whistling diesel. First night with the car. Look at that baby, huh? Mm -hmm. Marriott time. We made it to Virginia. We're in Harrisburg. We're gonna hit up a Waffle House tomorrow. What do you think, Dad? Sure. Woo, salvation. Ready? Mm-hmm. Two, three, eight, way down the end. Average carry average. It is perfect for sleeping. First time driving an Audi today, check. First time being in Atlanta today, check. First time showing my nipple on camera, and I think we ended up getting uh, 26.3 MPG. All right, in the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> Night, Dad, this is so cozy. Good morning, Harrisburg, Virginia. Wow. Way over there, Dad, you can see, what's your car's name? Blue. Blue Flame. Blue Flame. Sounds like a new Marvel character, doesn't it? It does, the Blue Flame. Hey, Ford Focus ST, you got 500L eyelashes. Hey, we also have an Audi Q8 over there. The best cruising machine in the parking lot is Blue Flame. There's a store called Anal Vapor. Endless caverns. You go in there, you never come. Yep. And you don't win. The president of New York. Dad. Yes. Tell us about your first Audi. This is not your first Audi. First Audi was an Audi Fox back in the early 80s. Kind of cool because it had all the German knobs and buttons and so it was fun to drive. But the thing that killed me is it had a rear fuel pump. And we were going over frost heaves in New Hampshire and all of a sudden the thing broke because it was banging it. And I got stuck near the toll booth in Dover. I had to have my stepfather come rescue us because it was freezing out. We stayed at the toll booth building. That's my Audi Fox experience. <laughs> Actually, I went to the dump, which they had old cars for used parts, and I tried to find old fuel pumps, and I did find one. And I tried to take it out, and I sliced my wrist open. It's all the scar. Audi Fox. <laughs> I put it in and fixed it, but the thing was a piece of crap, actually. Actually, I had, before that, Another German car. I had a 67 Volkswagen. Oh, yeah! Which uh, had holes in the floorboards in the floor. So you could see down. So you almost could stop the car like Fred Flintstone. It barely, everything barely worked in that car. It was like moving death trap. It only lasted a week, I think. How much you pay for it? 100 bucks. The <laughs> engine was seized. And that's when I got the Fox, because I liked the German cars. It didn't last that long. It was fun while it lasted. Oh, I remember what happened to it. I rear-ended into another car. <laughs> Audi Fox. Gone. And I always drove too close to the other car back then. But now I don't have to worry about that with my assist. So you totaled the Audi Fox. I was too close to the car in front of me. What kind of car was it? It was a school bus full of happy children thing locked up and I hit, ran into the back of the school bus. Not too hard. Four cars I totaled, at least. The Pinto totaled that one. How? Highway crash. Uh, the Buick that was on the bridge, it was black ice, lost control, head on. And, oh, I crashed my bike. This is how you know we're in the south. That's right. Yeah, some guy T-boned a car in Newburyport, went flying over the handlebars, we ended up in hospital on that one. Did you take his door off? <laughs> no, that was a different crash on a motorcycle. Oh my god. That was my nickname growing up, Crash. Was it really? Yep. No, shut up. Serious. I'm way past that. I am non-crashed. He actually crashed my first car before I had it. <coughs> 98 
Honda Accord EX. Slightly hit a, a Volvo in, in the front, and then someone slammed into the back of it. That's true. And then <clears throat> a deer hit me in the Honda. No, seriously? Yep. He jumped over the bog and he landed right in the side of the car. Blood was everywhere. Even the deer called him Crash. Oh, Waffle House XA5. Which BP station do you think is better, this one or uh, that one across the street? It's Virginia. While Atlanta and Charlotte are both hubs for car culture, once you make it closer to that Mason-Dixon line, then it becomes a hub for car carnage, car uncultured. But hey, I see a Suzuki Samurai. Let's do it. John Denver, West Virginia. To a place uh, I belong. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first time driving, I had the 67 Volkswagen and I didn't know how to drive a stick. I didn't know how to drive, period. My stepfather says, Go start the car and try it out. I says, Okay, I don't know, really know what I'm doing. He says, Oh, you can figure it out. It's in gear and I turn the key over and it smashes right into the garage door. There was no, I didn't know about a clutch. Oh, right, right, right. I just so, turned it on and it went forward right into the so garage. The starter door. drove it through the door. And I get out and I was so pissed off, I freaking threw the keys in the street and I said, I'll never drive. And that's why dad doesn't drive stick anymore. That was day one, drive myself. Crash, you should have known right from there, but no, they didn't get it. They uh, let me drive and they kept letting me drive. So I don't know if any of you people have speed limit enforced by aircraft sections on your highway, but there is one here in Virginia. Oh, see, please. We're actually just talking, we're, you know, averaging like, you know, decent speed. This car is just meant for the Autobahn. The gears, the overdrive is just fantastic. And this engine has so much torque. Down low, Das Auto. 60. No show. What, 60? This car laughs at 60. This car wakes up in the morning at 60. I do 60 on two cylinders. The two best things in the world. Cars and coffee. We're getting close to the home stretch. We're in Connecticut. We were gonna stop for some food, but we're an hour and a half away. We said, screw it. Broke open the coconut strip from Tr Trader Joe's. What? This is unbelievable. Look at this guy. How many miles on this thing? A little over 6,000. Wow. Pretty classy, I'll tell you that. It's really classy. I think I'm going to be able to drive this. Yeah. Back seats are wicked comfy too, huh? It's a Audi hat. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. We're part of the Audi family. I feel German already. I know. See, I have my Volkswagen shirt. Look. Thanks, bud. Put your shirt on. Love you. 